thing we're going to change different is being from Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is kind of known for not just drinking but brandy. At the uh, whiskey experience, one thing we came across um, was two different. Um, well, one company was there, Soul Boxer, that makes a brandy old fashioned, and it's complete. It's in a the bottle, so everything is there. And being a brandy old fashioned drinker myself, I was a little bit leery of it, so I tried it. So I thought, well, I'll get a bottle and have these guys try it. Mm -hmm. And out on one of my motorcycle rides I did this year, stopped at a um, bar for a little bit of lunch and that, and I noticed on the shelf they had a product called Third Gear. And Third Gear is another company that makes uh, brandy old fashions. They make whiskey old fashions. This makes whiskey old fashions also, and a ride of a pretty good selection of different types. Um, what's kind of cool is both these are Wisconsin companies. This one's out by uh, Milwaukee, and this one is by Pittsburgh, which is in the middle of the state. Um, so I thought, well, let's add that to a little bit and try it. So, mm -hmm. um, being from Wisconsin, I didn't think these guys would have a problem trying that. So. No, not at all. Not at all. So, mm -hmm. Not on a cold day like today. Price right? point, it, um, they're both exactly the same. Um, okay. I checked at um, a local store today, and they were... Uh, um, um, 20 bucks basically. Okay. Yep, and this is ready to drink, no mixing. No Just mixing. Pour it over a little ice and have at it. Said it's 62 proof, so it should so. not a super hard kick, but it'd probably get you there. So. So this one is nice dark brownish color. Yep. So. Um. So, we'll try the third gear first. They're about, well, this one's a little darker maybe? Yep, that one's a little darker. Yep, so this one, it's 30, so this is 60 proof, so and that one's... This one's 62 proof. So this one's just a hair stronger. 30 alcohol or 30, 30 proof? 30, 30 alcohol. Well, that one's stronger. So this yeah. one's just a hair stronger. Just a hair stronger. the name of the one you're pouring right now? This is third gear. Third gear. So, and being Brett and I ride motorcycles, you should someday. Well, we'll get you a Vespa. Yeah. There you go. So, but it's, this kind of caught my eye. So, it's out of Pittsburgh. Third um, gear. There you go. So. It's a nice size bottle, easy packable if you, you know, take a trip or something. So never thought I'd have something to try, so. So who is this then? Is this you or is this Brett here? No, probably Brett. With the, ape, better, with the ape hanger handlebars there. Mm -hmm. you... No. No apes here. So. It's... Taste hmm. the bitters a little bit, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and I mean, it tastes fairly decent. I like it, you know. I think the bitters come on just a little strong for me. So, you definitely taste them. So. It doesn't have, you know, strong aftertaste. It has. The old-fashioned taste. Mm -hmm. so. You know, for me, this is a whole new, whole new ball game. I'm not a not brandy, brandy guy. not a brandy guy. No. So, um. so as a brandy, non-brandy guy, what do you think that would be? Well, considering I'm the non-brandy guy and I've never had a brandy old-fashioned, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. Uh, I don't know if I would go out to a bar and order one, mm -hmm. uh, just because it. Yeah. yeah, and that's, I mean, I, I like brandy old fashions. I used to drink them mm -hmm. quite regularly until I started having more scotch. But, I mean, it's there. It's it's probably, to me, probably a two and a half. Yeah. Maybe, you know, just, it's just not. 
I, I've made a fair, made and drank a fair amount of old fashions in my day because it's one of my favorites too. Like I said, growing up in Wisconsin, it's hard to avoid. But um, this one's a little, a little harsh, a little bitter. Um, in my opinion, it would probably taste a lot better if you put an ounce or two of maybe a white soda in it. Um, but not bad. Like again, if you handed me a glass of it, I wouldn't refuse to drink it. Boxer. So the Boxer is out of, um, by Milwaukee, it's all-inclusive, brandy old-fashioned again in a bottle. They have a whiskey old-fashioned, if you like whiskey old-fashioned, but we're from Wisconsin, so brandy's our drink. Brandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, it has everything in it. They do make a whiskey, I don't know if they make a rye also, but um, these two um, they had, so we thought we'd try the brandy one. This one's a little bit darker than the third year, so I'm going to be interested to see if there's a noticeable taste difference. Looks like iced tea. Again, out of Pittsburgh, it is uh, 62 proof, so 31% alcohol, so just a little more than the other one. Um, so simply pour and enjoy, they say. For how to serve. That remains to be seen of the enjoy part. So, May I there, Steve? Yes, me. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. Alright. See how she tastes here. This one has a little bit more of a fruity smell to it than the previous one. This was a lot so, more sweet. Yep. So this than, is that's a good sign. Than the third gear. <clears throat> you taste the bitters, but you can actually taste the cherry. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yep. Definitely sweeter than the third gear one. Um, still a little bit heavy on the bitters, in my opinion. Some people like a little more bitter. I like a little less. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, you still have bitters, but I'm a bitters guy. I like the bitter. I like it's one thing I like about the brand new fashions. Um, very smooth all the way through, from the start to the finish. It's very nice. I like the little more fruity, like I like cherries too. So it's all. I mean, I do enjoy this one. I think out of the two, I'm going to have to lean towards the boxer. Sour box or something. For me, I think um, for my palate, it's too sweet. And like I told you guys, I, I've never had old fashioned, so mm -hmm. I don't know if they're supposed to be sweet, but it's too sweet for me. This one wasn't, I didn't like it, I didn't really care for it, and this one's too sweet for me, so I think mm -hmm. I need to find that middle ground. Yeah, for my palate, I just don't handle the yeah. sweet stuff that's, as well. Yeah. And that's it, every like, you know, you're not, you know, brand new drinker, and it's. Well, you can also they make you can make a brandy old fashioned with sour soda too. Yep. So that might be the ticket. Brandy old fashioned sour might yep. be. Or yep. you know, maybe I'll have a weak moment and grab a whiskey one. I do like so whiskey that, sours. So, so yep. yeah, well, that's yep. Maybe the whiskey will do it because brandy's is going to be sweeter to start with. So. Mm -hmm.